leaders after the original dance held here on Friday, Oksana Grichuk and Yevgeny Platov. They have been prominent members of the international skating community in the 90s. According to the rules, ice dancing should emphasize rhythm, interpretation of the music, and precise steps. Its evolution as a sport has followed those dictums, and then some. When ice dancing was introduced at the 1952 World Championships, Gene Westwood and Lawrence Demme of England won the first gold medal with their traditional approach to skating. At the 1980 Winter Games, Russians Natalia Limichuk and Gennady Karponisov won the gold with a more rigid interpretation of dancing style. After that, everything changed. Torval and Dean's Bolero in 1984 opened the floodgates for interpretation, and with it, the romantic imprint of Klimova and Ponomarenko, in 1992. In Lillehammer, Torval and Dean returned with a classy and stylistic interpretation of Fred and Ginger. Their creativity and talent are unmatched in the history of ice dancing. And at their routine's conclusion, the world seemed to feel a second gold was theirs. But the loudest cheers were reserved for Oksana Grichuk and Yevgeny Platov. They flashed across the ice to the rock and roll beat of Bill Haley. Oksana and Yevgeny were now putting their signature on the history of ice dancing. They had skated together since August of 1989, and the Olympic gold medal propelled them to stardom. On the campus of the University of Delaware, you can find both of them continuing to hone their program. Under the watchful eye of coach Natalia Linichuk, it is daily practice sessions filled with a combination of stress, fatigue, and an occasional hunger for perfection. Their style of skating is always changing to suit their moods and their desires. We dance just from the soul, from how we feel today. We prefer the fast style, like new program, Latin American dance. Both lead independent lives away from the ice. Oksana will sometimes invite Yevgeny for relaxation at her home. They're enjoying the advantages of living and training in America. We like to be in the United States to practice in here and live here uh, because it's much easier for us. It's different and than in Russia because in Russia it's, re it's really difficult time and you know it's kind of dangerous there and but you know, everything is we like here much better. Following Lillehammer, they won the 94 and 95 World Championships. And in January, they won their first European crown and continued to perform in numerous exhibitions. All of this success is not without a price. Yevgeny is recently divorced, and Oksana is, in her words, tired and exhausted from the pressures of staying on top of the sport. They reach out for the comfort of each other. If I feel not so good just before performance and I feel Oksana, she's very good. I just follow her and opposite. If she feel not so good, she tell me and I like push. Yeah, it's hel um, we help each other all the time if like something happened or someone tired. Uh, we help each other and, you know, just try to don't show anybody that something happened inside. Just, you know, just throw everything, forget about anything. Uh, actually, when I'm stepping on the ice, I forgot about if I had some knee problem or arm problem. You know, just I just forgot about it and like nothing happened before, just dancing. The demands of refining a program. Perfection demands practice. Grichuk and Platov are willing to sacrifice to stay on top. When we return to our same day coverage from St. Petersburg, you'll see Grichuk and Platov perform that free dance. Welcome back to the Sports and Concert Complex in St. Petersburg, Russia. Our same-day coverage of the Ice Dancing Championship and the 
current world and Olympic champions on the ice right now. From Odessa, Ukraine, Yevgeny Platov and Oksana Grinchuk. And the costumes continue to be very colorful. <laughs> I don't know where Oksana Grishuk gets all of her energy from, but she will not stop until the end of this program. This is incredible. It's just a sprint. Look at the quick turns right here. This is all very difficult. Changes of position. Kind of fun, isn't it, Peter? We saw them working on this routine on the rink at the University of Delaware. Now to see it put into play here in St. Petersburg. Absolutely. They just have really mastered the steps that are in this program. And it takes so long to feel comfortable with these lifts. Very nice right there. And it's all about originality, Vern. You just can't show up to these competitions without having new footwork, new lifts, and all the expression and timing that they have throughout this competition. Here we go. Last minute of the program. This is the hardest part because these steps become really tough in that your legs are tired and one little slip and it's devastating. Oksana Grichuk, Yevgeny Platov. And a knowledgeable crowd here at the Sports and Concert Complex in St. Petersburg. Nice performance. I remember when they were putting this free dance together, watching them, they got to one point of the program, had a slip and fell and missed about 20 seconds of the program. At any time, if they fall, it really can ruin the entire program, but they did that very well here. Now 
now the quick changes of position and then right here he'll step right over her and that takes time to develop all of that they have to even do that off the ice before they put it on the ice and the quick step sequence very nice <laughs> and there's her dog, Vanya. She brought the Cocker Spaniel from Newark, Delaware. And the technical merit scores. All very solid marks. That reflects all of the difficult steps and artistic impression, all five nines. Vanya got to keep her frequent flyer miles. We'll be back right after this.